and welcome to the Stopcox channel. We've got tutorial videos, introductory videos to our plumbers and all sorts of other things. Please scroll through them and enjoy them. I want to talk to you about the floating ball valve, which this is one of. You find these in your toilets, in your hot water systems um, and your tanks that are in your loft. And basically what they do is they control the flow of water in. So they stop the water coming in, so you don't have to be there to turn it off. So it's an automatic thing. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of this. This technology is about 200 years old. In fact, it was patented by a guy called Thomas Crapper, who you've probably heard of, and um, you probably think that the word uh, is synonymous with toilets. Which it is, <laughs> but Thomas Crapper actually did not invent the flushing toilet as he was supposed to have done in history. In fact, he invented this and he invented one other part of the toilet, but today I'm not going to talk about this. Um, before I do that though, I'll just tell you a little bit about Thomas Crapper. He was born in 1836 in Yorkshire, and when he was 14, he walked the 165 miles down to London, and he ended up in Chelsea where he apprenticed himself to a master plumber. Uh, when he was, um, well, let's just say in 1861, a few years later, I think he would have been 25, he started his own business called Crappers, and uh, he had the very first bathroom shop where they had bathrooms, toilets, basins, etc., all on display. And it was said, there were stories that were said that uh, ladies used to faint as they walked past his bathroom shops to see all the toilets there. Anyway, back to this ingenious device, which has proved the test of time and is over 200 years. Technology for it has hardly changed at all, except for, of course, there's bits of plastic now. Uh, right, water comes in here, and it comes out of this hole at the bottom here, and if this is what will fill your toilet system. We've got a plastic ball here, which is a hollow ball. In the old days, they were made of copper. Uh, light because they were light and they were empty so they'd float. What happens is the water comes in, the ball rises as it floats. When it gets to here it can't move anymore uh, and what has actually happened is within this part of it here what's happened is there's a washer and the raising of the arm pushes the washer against the hole and stops the water and it's really as simple as that. No more water can get in because as more water comes in, the ball pushes higher up, harder up, and the harder the ball pushes up, the harder the washer pushes against the hole. So it's an ingenious little invention. And um, like I said, I mean, I bought this today. So in 200 years, it hasn't changed at all in design, except for the fact that sometimes now they're made of plastic. And in fact, I am going to be adjusting a plastic one um, today from this toilet here that's been overflowing 